14th of September 2020 and I'm doing my last wild camp of the year, only the second one I've done this year. Um, I'm going to walk along the track to Green Withens Reservoir and then I'm looking to camp out up on Dog Hill, the ice point on Rishworth Moor. Let's see how we get on. That there is my objective, that's where I'm going, that's Dog Hill. I'm following this track to Green Withens Res first. M62, Waystone Edge up there, Windy Hill there. Uh, getting near uh, the bottom of Dog Hill, where I'm going to start cutting up soon. Uh, the wind is a little bit less over this end, but I'm still a bit concerned about it when I climb up. This is tender mine, it's very lightweight. I don't think it's geared up for strong winds. It's nice and clear though, not much about in the way of birds. A few meadow pipits, reed bunting, no birds of prey. Maybe later on, if I'm lucky, we'll get a short year out. I've seen them up here before, but not for a year or two. Be nice though. See you later. Like stone hut remains up here. I wonder if they were for shepherds or something, or maybe for temporary shelters and people building the resin, the drain. They've got chimneys, so they must have. There's been places where you could light a fire and get warm. Not sure. Not much left of them though. At least three that I know of. Keep sort of back towards the M62 where I came before. Beyond the res up there's Blackston Edge. I did a really nice wild camp up there last year. Found a right good little spot in amongst the rocks over on Sun End. start climbing up there in a minute. And, uh, the path that crosses this section of more, I think it's called Blackwood Gate on the map. And not many paths are named, so I bet there's, uh, I bet there's some age about it. I bet it's quite old. What the purpose is before it, though, I don't know. Drover's route, moving livestock, pack horse even. Not too far to the top, but it is quite windy. I'm going to have a scout about for somewhere with a bit of shelter, I reckon. No more filming now until I get to the top. Coming up to Dog Hill. It's in a couple of potential camping spots. I mean, look here, it's quite flat. But it's quite exposed. Yeah, I'm jiggered. It's been a while since I came to pack this heavy. I am trying to sort of get the weight down a bit, but carrying water. Three litres now really cranks up the weight. Oh. What have you? It's not too bad up here. Breeze guys, there's a trick point. There's green with it, so there's all the next side by on the floor. Stubbly pike, that sort of way. See it clear in the eye, but I'm not sure this is picking up. Sort of panning round into colder day off. Now I'm gonna dump the pack. Scout about. Just below. A little bit away from the trick point, it's still windy, but I'm just slightly down slope, so it should be a little bit better. That's like a ground sheet Tyvek thing that I put underneath the tent. I don't think it needs one really, I think the ground sheet and the tent's pretty robust, but first out in, I've got to look after it, and I? Novelty of a ground sheet will wear off soon, um, uh, a footprint rather. Like spats over me, me walking trainers. They're called dirty girl gaiters. You can only get them in these uh, garish colours. Well, I kind of quite like them. I don't normally go for more subdued ones. They stop all the uh, bits of detritus getting in your trainers and that. In your trousers. So, yeah, they're alright. Some nice cirrus clouds up here. I've not got the tents up here, I'm just listening to the radio, to the football scores coming in. I'm just going to hang on a bit just to make sure nobody comes up. Maybe another half hour or something. Just chilling out. Over and out. In. Finally got the tent up. This is my new 
Tent up, tent notch. I've got to sort out that bit of footprint hanging out though. Not easy at all. I think it will be though, after a few goes. Never had a chance to practice at home. Well, I probably did, but I couldn't be bothered. Banana skin and uh, carton. Don't worry, I'll shift them. Yeah, it seems okay. Inside's a bit loose. Let's have a look at that. Uh, anyway, let's get the gear in. We're going to have a brew, I think. We've got some wine and beer for later. Let's see how we get on. And there we go. Pretty happy with it now. A lot of little tweaking and fiddling. It's a very fiddly kind of tent. I think sometimes I'll do it alright, other times it'll be floppy. But I think we're going to be okay tonight. Definitely need some more practice though. So. Right, let's pan round. Oh, wind turbines are covered in more on the skyline. Looking down into Light Serby Bridge, outskirts of Halifax. Quite like hazy. Just panning round to Studley Pike. I think you can just make out where the path snakes across the moor before we round. I think that sort of points towards Pendle. See some of the three peaks from here. There's the summit, and the sun's just on its way down. It's supposed to be a full harvest moon tonight. I would imagine it'll rise somewhere over there, but I think it needs to clear a bit. It's good though, if it does, if I see it. Right, I'm going to make myself a brew. That's a lot for a bit. What a lovely sunset. Form won't do it justice though. There's a tent, my tea's on. Not sure of the time, it's about 7 o'clock. And City are losing as well. Against Norwich. Lovely light. See all the folds and ripples of the land when the sun's low like this. Windy Hill. Back to Dog Hill. Back to the sunset. Back to the tent for someone to eat. It's beautiful. The sun has just gone down. The skies are just a gorgeous colour. I'm going to have my tea and I'm going to dig in soon. Read the book. And it's a bit grim. It started raining, sort of, I'd say about five o'clock. Just doing the usual that everybody does leave no trace. There's a trig point, got about three miles back. I'm getting a lift off my ma. Not sure I'll do any more filming, I don't know, doubt it. Anyway, <laughs> for the first attempt, I hope it weren't too bad, I haven't put you off for life. Okay, bye.